All right, let's start from the beginning. Once you get your package and you got your kit number together, you will then go to starlink.com slash activate. That's where you're going to put your kit number. That's how all, all this magic begins. After you set up your equipment, you install the equipment, you find your position, your location, where it's good for you. That kit number is going to be inside. We're going to put right here, activate Starlink kit number, and you're more likely going to create a new account. If you get from Starlink, you have to create an account. Therefore, it's going to come bind it to your account. Another way is you can create an account and order it. Uh, you can do an existing account. Then all you have to do is add your kit number, pull it up to your account. It's going to do exactly the same way as doing as a new account. Uh, we're going to hit create an account. This page is going to show you is to put your address, right? So we're going to put our office address here just for, for this time, for this presentation. We're going to do a little search. Boom. Shows up every service that there is. Now, be wary that as of yesterday, residential is available nationwide, USA. The new generation three satellites up in the sky as of yesterday allows more users per satellite. Therefore, no waiting list. Everybody can use a residential plan if you need it. Of course, good things, bad things, perks. Uh, more likely, the price of that residential package is $120 a month. That's a flat rate. Uh, there's no tax included 120 that's it nothing else charge on it there are I believe two states that do have slightly different price I don't recall them exactly I'll, I'll take a look but yeah there is there's a flat fee that's it uh, so we have our residential plan then we have our business plan which they have a, a new package on it which is 40 gigabytes uh, business plan then we have our ROM plan which allows you to get your dish from A to B to C to D nationwide and be able to use whatever you want. Now, having in mind that you have less priority than a residential. So if you move to an area that has a lot of a residential, they will have more priority above you, therefore getting more data. Uh, then we get our mo uh, mobility and our maritime. So mobility and maritime will work more likely together. Mobility you would have it because you ended up moving putting in the boat putting in a car or putting on an airplane and then the maritime is what allows you to go up in the ocean so when the boat is doing a crossing or it's going from us to cuba or us to turks and caicos or us to bahamas and on the open ocean uh that maritime package is going to come in in fact uh so different prices different ranges uh being the more expensive a five thousand dollar package on the maritime which gives you five gigabyte priority. Let's pick residential. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to do a continue to check out. And there you see, we got a no contract 30 day trial shipping estimate one to two weeks uh, service and what's in the box. We already know what's in the box. If you haven't just check it out our, uh, our episode one and two, it will show you exactly what we got in the box. Uh, 120 a month for service, no hardware fee because we already paid for it. All you have to do is fill up the contact information and the credit card. So at the bottom, you see due today, 120, that's going to start your billing cycle. Now, if you order through them after they ship, they will start billing you after seven to 10 days. Uh, if for some reason you don't get your shipment in that day, uh, you can complain. You can just go in the app, you know, hit troubleshoot thumbs down send them a message they will refund you or they're gonna give extra credit for that system here what we're gonna do now i'm gonna change change the screen we're gonna go to a different screen right that's gonna bring us to my screen to a unit that we already have activated so once the unit is active this is gonna be your main screen what you're seeing now so you see i have a balance to our uh, maritime antenna that we have so it's gonna be charging 951 dollars see i have two antennas here uh so normal things we got our email we got a phone number shipping address sign out term, terms of service <clears throat> and then we can select the antenna that we want to manage this antenna is a flat panel high performance so as you can see it's on the mobile priority there's a no policy no ip policy i'm gonna go through every single thing here so everybody understands 
uh, first thing we can do is change service plan. Let's say you're the ones that had to buy an RV. Now that residential is available, let's change the residential. Go for it. So what you do is you're going to click the pencil and you'll be able to change to anything that you want. Okay. So you have your mobile priority, 50 gigabytes, standard, re mobile, regional, so forth. All the plans are here. So if you want to go to residential, the one you're going to select is going to be this standard. You're going to hit change to standard and you can confirm. A nice thing to do that not a lot of people do is read before you select, right? So if I read here, it's going to say that I'm going to start getting billed 120 on October 7th. That's when my, ch my plan starts. So now bear in mind that if I change to a higher plan that what I'm using, it will cost me like, let's say if I want to go to one terabyte, it's going to cost me $127. Now, why? Because I still have days left over in my plan, which is below that plan. So I'm paying the difference. Now, if I'm transitioning to a lower plan than mine, then there's no cost to me. Therefore, they're not going to cancel what I have left. Just when the billing cycle changes it, that's when that plan is going to be effective. Okay. So let's say I'm on one terabyte yet I still have 10 days left and I change today for residential. I'm still going to have 10 days left to terabyte until that plan goes into effect. That's how you change a plan. Now you want to pause the service. Beautiful. You hit pause, you confirm it will pause again. Just take a second and take a read. You can reactivate service at any time and billing will revert to the current standard monthly subscription fee. If I pause the service now up to the seventh, it's going to work. You're pausing service until the end of your billing cycle. So let's say that you pause the service and you reactivate on the 17th of December. So now you're going to get charged the difference between your monthly subscription fee to the end of the plan. So if you're doing a thousand dollars and you, you re reactivate on the middle of the month, you're billing in seven. So you're paying that difference. Read, just read. It really depends on your bill, but that's more likely how they work with their things. They're not going to charge full again. They're going to do the difference until that month because you start on the seventh. Okay. Uh, if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Leave a comment below. You know, it helps me help you. And if I did a mistake, my apologies. We are here to uh, make sure we get the right information out. Um, that's how you pause your service. Below is the cancel service. Once you cancel the service, uh, it cancels all the way up to the, your billing cycle, which is the seventh in my case. But you can reactivate any time that you want. If you want to buy the unit and not use for the three, four months, the first month will be active. So once you get the unit, you'll be billed until the billing cycle ends. So that first month is going to be active and then it's going to get paused after the fact. You cannot just buy the unit and not activate through their website. If you buy through us, if you buy through Best Buy, if you buy through Home Depot, then yes, you can buy the unit. You only activate the unit when you want it to activate. Does it make sense? Not really, because electronics, they get upgrade daily, right? So in a month, two months, you have a new hardware. Remember, canceling the service, you can always reactivate again. Now, when you do reactivate the, ser the service from cancel, it takes up to 30 minutes to have that account active. Uh, from pausing, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. It's a little faster when you paused. When you cancel, it goes to a bigger process through, their, through the data server. Data usage. So here, what you get here, uh, it's what you consume. Now, bear in mind that there is loss of data so because it's going through a node from a knock to a satellite satellite to you is not one to one you're always going to lose a little bit of data up and down it's not like getting it straight from your cable from your fiber optic from comcast from xfinity from whatever you have like even uses that they have the loss of package that is count as internet a lot of people said it's not accurate it will never be accurate because there is a loss of package. That means still you lost data. So yeah, oh, I use 20 gigabytes, but I really only use 17. Yes, you have a lot of loss of package. Maybe not that much, but you're still losing internet. 
therefore it's counting towards your internet not theirs of course they will never lose i'm about to take my unit this unit here uh and go over in the ocean instead of me changing my plane to one terabyte can i select mobile priority that will give me priority i pay as i go as i need now you're the one that has to be smart in utilizing that button sometimes it's not worth to use it if you're gonna go over a thousand dollars right why not just pay a thousand dollars for one terabyte every unit has a gps as you can see on the map that shows where we are right here greater fort lauderdale so if you go closer it shows where the unit is uh there is ways of using that gps on ipads if you want uh we can go deeper down leave a comment you know hit a like subscribe comment below ask and then maybe we do a video the information that we get here is the same as you get in the app the only difference on the app is that when you do a local connection or a remote connection here i'm doing a remote connection i'm not on the same wi-fi i can see everything that the unit is doing it how much is using it how much is downloading how much is uploading it the latency ping drop the signal quality and the obstruction the signal quality has been a hundred percent uh, roughly about 20 minutes ago it was a lot of rain in here to really lower the signal quality but then it has been pretty much stable the latency i see a lot of people that is worried about oh what's my download what's my upload are they important yes they are download is very important but it's not as important as your latency stay tuned more to come